Hello, um, I'm here to talk to you about the ELO system. I've figured it all out, it's all good. I think I've finally cracked the code. Um, I've been recording 11 games from my Golden Overmaster, when I first got onto Golden Overmaster, to Master Guardian 1. All right, this might um, be a bit inaccurate considering um, I might have gone a bit over on the one rounds when I ranked up, obviously, but I'll, I'll explain that now. Um, so the ranking system works like this. On the first game, I won 16-4, okay, and the ELO system only bases itself on the rounds that you have won, just the rounds you've won, and only the rounds you've won. So obviously, I've won 12 rounds in there if I take away the 16 from the 4, because the 4 counts as minus 1 win, obviously. Well, 1 loss um, counts as minus 1 win, obviously. Um, so if you take away the 4 from the 16, it'll give me 12. And that is my overall um, rounds won. I need to get that to 35, as you can see here. I finally got it to 35, and then I ranked up. All right, that's just on average. That's just for me. I had to win 35. For you, it might be you have to win 36, 37. It might vary. It might even vary between different ranks and things. But for Golden Love Master and Master Guardian 1, um, you needed 35. Now, um... Because it, it only ever does this because if you're stuck inside a rank, say Silver Elite, and you want to get to Silver Elite Master, um, you might have been winning like games with 16 wins and 12 losses. Now, obviously, if you take away the 12 from the 16, it's 4. So, 4, 8, 12, 16, and if you keep on doing that as if it's a recurring thing, then you are going to be stuck on there because it's going to take a while to get to 35 and then you'll get a loss in there somewhere and obviously it'll just fall apart so basically what you have to do is you have to keep on winning or try and get this to 35 if you if you rank up please try this out because it is really helpful and it, obviously if we all get the same results then that's just fab um, that sounded gay when I said that but I didn't have my milk this morning so anyway um, so yeah obviously um, with 16 11 that's five rounds won if I take the 11 from the 16 so that puts it up to 17 then I lost a round so um, 10 minus 16 is minus 6 so I have to take away with 6 from there to make get 11 and so on and so forth because all the ELO points and ranking up always depends on your performance in each game if your performance is awesome then obviously you're gonna rank up because you're too much for that rank and people are gonna find it unfair so um, yeah, you need 35 rounds won overall with an average of 3 MVPs per, per game to rank up, which is what I got. I averaged all those MVPs that you can see there, like here and here and here. So that's pretty much the ELO system for you. So if you can get 35 rounds won, that, that means taking away your losses from your, your wins, and if you can get that number that you find to 35, see if you rank up, see if I'm right. And if I am right, please give it a like. Also, I forgot to mention that um, the ELO system also works off people's rankings. For example, if there's a Master Guardian and a Nova 3, um, then the Nova 3 will gain more ELO points for killing that Master Guardian than it would for killing another Nova 3, because more is expected of the Master Guardian. Same as if a Master Guardian kills a Nova 3, he'll gain less ELO points, because, well, obviously, it's a higher rank, so it's kind of unfair. So I thought I'd bear that in mind. Um, please do comment, like, and subscribe and things. Um, it does help. And I'll see you all later on. Bye.